we believe that INEC has to prove itself. It has to prove the results it announced were true and were real. There are 176,600 poll 600, 176, polling stations. That's a lot of polling stations. INEX rules required each polling station to collect the votes, count the votes, and they do it the old-fashioned way. They get the paper votes, they count them, they put them in stacks for each of the primary candidates. They were to gather those results, publish the local results, and then transmit the results, and ultimately they would go to Abuja and be certified. Well, what happened was is they published some of the results early on and then they took them down. And so what they have is something that looks a little bit like this, scribbling, when it used to look like this, where it was written. Someone didn't like the results. That's what appears to have happened. Dr. Ogebe observed it happening. So what we have is vote rigging, vote buying, and bribery. So despite INEX efforts, nothing good happened. And we're back to the same old thing, the same old efforts. So what do we do? What do we do in the United States? What do we do as members of the diaspora? What do we do as international attorneys or international law folks? What do we do to ensure democracy can thrive, that the promise of 1960 can come true again, hopefully? Well, we are asking that INAC throw open the curtains and let the full light of truth come in to prove the transparency and the veracity of the results they've announced. If the results are true, they should be able to prove it. It is absolutely not extraordinary to ask them to prove it. Show me your math. We've all gone to school. Show me your math. You've got a number. Show me how you got to that number. Prove what you did. There can be no debate that the initial investigations indicate that they were savaged. The rules were savaged. The rights of the electorate were savaged. It was polluted by blatant and widespread corruption. And as Dr. Lloyd said, the four horsemen of democracy's doom, bribery, intimidation, insecurity, and vote rigging, appeared to trot and run roughshod all over the nation. They were harnessed to skew the results. We, Nadeko, call upon the people of Nigeria to act peacefully, but to demand that proof be provided to them, that INEC prove the results they've announced. We also call upon the international community to join together with the Nigerian judiciary in a concerted effort to condemn and set aside the hastily announced results and instead proceed with the solemn seriousness this deserves. Again, one of the 